Hello students. Today in our class, we are going to be discuss about the Schrodinger time independent wave equation. For the de Broglie's matter waves, the Schrodinger given the equation of motion. That is called as a Schrodinger wave equation. Okay. For that, solve this one. We have to introduce a mathematical expression for a particle that is moving associated with a wave that is actually psi equals to a e power minus i omega into t minus x by v. Here omega is the angular frequency, v is the velocity, t is the time and x is the position of the particle. In most of the particle their potential energy is depends upon only the position. Okay, that means the potential energy of the particle for most of the particle that is not depends upon the time. Okay, that's way the modified wave function we can be taken as psi equals to a sin 2 pi by lambda of x. This is the modified wave function we have to be take to derive the Schrodinger time independent. That means we no need of your time factor. Okay. So, this is called as equation number 1. Schrodinger wave equation is a fundamental equation for a quantum mechanics and Schrodinger equation is a differential form of equation. Now, let us choose a particle whose mass is m whose mass is m and it is associated with a wave okay, that's velocity is v then we can write that equation of motion, okay? So, uh, psi equals to a sin 2 pi by lambda of x. That means psi here representing as the position of the particle. The position of the particle. In one dimension only here, I am explaining. Okay, now we have to differentiate above equation once. So, differentiate above equation with respect to x. If we are differentiate that one, we will get d psi by dx equals to a is constant outside for the sine cos. Okay, d psi by this d, d by dx of sine. Okay, cos 2 pi by lambda of x. And so within inside, once again we have to uh, differentiate that one. If we differentiate, we will get 2 pi by lambda. Why? Because dx by dx is 1. Okay. That implies what we can write is d psi by dx equals to this 2 pi by lambda is also constant. That's why we have to write it outside. And a cos 2 pi by lambda of x. Is it okay? No. We have to once again differentiate with respect to x. So, if we do that, LHS side becomes d square psi by dx square equals to 2 pi by lambda, 2 pi by lambda, a is constant. For the cos, the differenti in the differentiation we will get minus sign, minus sign 2 pi by lambda of x and at the same time we have to differentiate within the sign that is uh, cos Okay, that is 2 pi by lambda. Okay, so that implies, okay, so that implies what we can write is d square psi by dx square, okay, minus, if we take this one, that's, okay, this side, it will become plus, so 2 pi into 2 pi, that is 4 pi square, lambda into lambda, lambda square, and a sine 2 pi by lambda of x, from equation 1, Okay, we will write psi. Okay, from equation 1. That equation we can write like d square psi by dx square plus this minus if comes this side 4 pi square by lambda square of psi equals to 0. This equation I am calling as a equation number 2. Here, lambda is the de Broglie's wavelength. So that means the de Broglie's wavelength associated with a particle which is having the mass m 
which is moving with the velocity v then lambda equals to h by m v but here we want lambda square so lambda square equals to h square by m square v square so it is in the denominator that's why 1 by lambda square equals to how can we write is m square v square by h square we will substitute that one in the above equation we will get d square psi by dx square plus 4 pi square by 1 by lambda square means m square v square by h square of psi equals to 0 okay so now the total energy of the particle is the total energy of the particle is sum of the kinetic energy plus potential energy so kinetic energy i am writing here so kinetic energy for now what is that kinetic energy equals to half mv square okay suppose if i am multiplying with m and dividing with that one m square v square that means kinetic energy formula is kinetic energy equals to m square v square by 2m okay the total energy i am calling as a e and kinetic energy is m square v square by 2m plus potential energy means v potential energy means capital v so here what i want m square v square i want that's why I'm keeping that m square v square that side and remaining terms I am bringing that opposite side. So here 2m is multiplying if that goes that side multiplies 2m into e minus v. Okay 2m into e minus v. Now we have to substitute this one. Uh, this equation called as a equation number 3. This equation called as a 4. Now, fourth equation substitute in third equation, we will get the equation that is d square psi by dx square plus 4 pi square m square v square means 2m into e minus v by h square psi equals to 0. Okay, so 4 twos are 8 or otherwise h cut we are simply calling as h by 2 pi is called as a h cut. So, by using that one, if we write d square psi by dx square plus 4 pi square h square, that means h cut square equals to h square by 4 pi square. So, h square by 4 pi square, how can we write h cut square? Okay, this one is 2m into e minus b by h cut square psi equals to 0. This is a one dimensional equation. This is a one dimension equation. Okay, for a free particle, the potential energy is zero. Okay, so I am going to be out of this. Okay, for a free particle, potential energy is zero, then that equation can be written like d square psi by dx square plus 2me by h cut square psi equals to 0. Okay. If we want to write this one in the 3 dimensional. So in 3 dimensional. In 3 dimensional. So whatever the remaining coordinates. That means d square psi by dx square plus. d square psi by dy square plus. d square psi by dz square. For a normal particle. That is 2m into e minus v by h cut square psi equals to 0. Okay. So, actually, this d square psi by dx square plus d square psi by dy square plus d square psi by dz square, we are calling as a del square. Del square equals to d square by dx square plus d square by dy square plus d square by dz square. This is also called as Laplacian operator. Laplacian operator. Okay. So, Therefore, equation we can be right like instead of this one, we have to introduce del, so del square psi, del square psi. So, automatically I am operating with psi. That means del square psi plus 2m into e minus v by h cut square psi equals to 0. This is the final equation for a Schrodinger time independent wave equation. Okay. So, if you like this, please give a like and if you have any doubts, keep them in a comment box. Thank you.